Well, good morning and welcome to another edition of Expert Alert here on WLOX. This is where we bring in experts from different uh, areas around the coast and to talk about their specialties, services, uh, and things that they do. Uh, I remember a few weeks ago, we brought in the, uh, the manager and the owner of OS Lumber Supply over in uh, Ocean Springs. And we told you that we, over the next several uh, months, we're going to be bringing in specialists uh, in the certain fields to talk about what they specialize in uh, and, um, you know, it, when it comes to you know building supplies or, or whatever. Well, Russell Oaks is uh, our guest today, who is here, and he is the Millworks specialist. Right. What is, what is it, first off, well, I'll ask you, tell me a little bit about yourself first, Russell, uh, and how long you've been doing this and everything. Then we'll ask you, what the heck is Millworks? <laughs> <laughs> well, I started in, uh, in building materials in the late 80s, mm -hmm. uh, just sweeping floors and stacking lumber, and worked into a sales position, and outside sales with contractors on job sites and then kind of specialized into just mill work. Okay. Away from the, the two by fours and the rebar and such. Okay, now what, what is exactly is mill works? And mill works is uh, doors, windows, moldings, um, stairs, anything that would be ma made in uh, like a mill shop. Okay, okay. Well, one of the things that we're really gonna uh, t touch on today and talk about a lot our windows and the differences. When have you seen? We've got a, a couple of things up here, but uh, we're going to talk about um, the different types. Why you should, uh, you, you know, you put a lot of thought into doing that. And I guess what what they do is, uh, when someone gets ready to, you know, whether they're building a house or replacing windows in a house, that uh, come to a specialist like yourself, find out exactly what would be perfect for their home or business. Mm -hmm. Right. We, uh, we try to analyze the project, see what kind of needs that they have in the, whether it be a home or, or a business, and then try to look at the budget and try to marry the two together mm -hmm. uh, where, we need to, where we need to start. And uh, we'll, we'll typically start uh, like low end residential construction. We'll use a basic entry level vinyl window. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it meets the need, it fills the holes, looks nice and uh, has good energy efficiency. Uh, efficiency mm -hmm. and then we can work from there kind of on up the ladder uh, yeah up into now, I know I know your windows have they are made from different materials right so where why would you choose a particular I mean beyond like vinyl or fiberglass or, mm -hmm. or aluminum or even wood right uh, what would make you decide what you would want to work with uh, a lot of times that's driven by one budget mm -hmm. and then two aesthetics what a architect may have specified uh, what kind of sizes that we need to work with. The, uh, the upper end product lines will let us get bigger, uh, bigger openings and still maintain our ratings. Yeah, now, I know some people may come into the, uh, over there at OS Lumber and say, uh, oh, that's pretty, I think that would be great. But it may not be uh, efficient for them in the house they're building, depending on where they are. Right, right. You'll, we'll see a lot of times somebody just absolutely loves a particular product, but it may not fit the budget, and mm -hmm. uh, that's, more often than not the case when we can't put something into a house. Uh, right. Uh, so yeah, we, we have to deal with that a lot. Talk about the different functions of some of the windows that you have. I mean, they, they, they can open and close in different ways. Right, you have, uh, you have a single hung window, which the bottom sash raises up and down, and then a double hung, uh, the both sashes operate, uh, which you see a lot in the older homes mm -hmm. uh, and in the upper end homes nowadays. Then you have a casement window, which, which kind of cranks out like a door, got a little handle in it, right. twisted out. Um, but now you've got a lot of specialty windows. They make a pocketing window where the, it slides from one side to the other into a pocket in the wall. So you have this big like wide Like pocket open. doors exactly. that you see in a lot of houses, exactly. pocket doors. We I didn't put, know they did windows they, too. They just started doing that. And really? You could, you could use that on a bar top situation like this if you wanted just a clean open pass through, uh, just wide open with no window in your way. Wow! Yeah, it's it's amazing that some of the uh, new technology that they're coming up with. Yeah. I mean, when you th think about technology, you're always thinking about electronic stuff mm -hmm. and all that, but not necessarily. I right. mean, it could be in the, in the home building as well. Mm -hmm. uh, some of these uh, some of these companies are even putting technology into their into their windows. Mm -hmm. They'll have pre-wired alarm systems, so all your alarm guys got to do is just hook it up. Uh, the, some of the larger door openings are electrified with a motor. You mash the button on the side of the wall and the door opens like Star Trek for you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People are really thinking about that one now. Yeah. Uh, talk about codes. Okay. I know you have to go through uh, whenever somebody's building or, or whatever, they have to, you have to follow different codes. Right, right. We have a, 
what's called a DP50, which is a design pressure code in all three coastal counties that everybody has to meet no matter how close they are to the beach. It's just mm -hmm. required by code in the county. Uh, then if you're on the beach, a lot of building inspectors are requiring impact rated glass, which is the hurricane glass that everybody right. talks about. And uh, those are the two biggest things that we, we look for. We've got some other code issues with fire egress that we have to keep an eye out for in bedrooms. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's a new code that came out a year or two ago called a window opening control device that would keep a ch small child from raising a window and falling out if, uh, if the house was elevated. Wow. So there's a lot to watch for. Child safety and windows. Oh yes, uh, that's something. <laughs> Matter of fact, uh, they, there's, if you go to the website, uh, uh, OS Lumber's website, there's a great demo there on uh, breaking one of the windows, in which uh, they, they go there with a the, uh, impact resistant versus a double pane window. If you go there and um, and watch that with a baseball bat, they uh, you know, show you how it went easily through one window. Mm -hmm. And then when it got to the other one, banged away on that thing and, and nothing. Oh, yeah. We probably hit that window 30 times. Did you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and like you said, it, when it comes to the wind resistant part of it, because you know, that, that wind's whipping out there, mm -hmm. uh, especially in a storm, in a hurricane or whatever, uh, you don't want something coming through the window. Right, right. Yeah, the, the thing, thing about the impact rated window is it's going to maintain its integrity even after something may have broken it. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas the other window that's in that video, uh, you're, you're two by four missile that they used to test with would have gone right through into the living room. Yeah, so we're just kind of watching the the, uh, the testing on that, but again, you can find out a whole lot about uh, the different windows that they have there when you go to the website. Mm -hmm. Talk about, you've got some uh, display items here. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about some of the differences with those. Well, we brought, we brought this one in. This is kind of an entry level vinyl window, and you can see it, it gets its insulation from all of the channels and pockets inside. Oh, the, okay, yeah, I see that. All those dead air spaces, mm -hmm. and then you got your typical insulated glass. We have that in, in every window we sell nowadays. There's no single pane glass anymore. Okay. Uh, so that's where the energy efficiency comes from in, in the vinyl window, and then everybody's using the low E glass uh, that everyone talks about now, so mm -hmm. that's kind of a given uh, on all windows nowadays. Right. And then I also brought this uh, this clad wood window, so you have a, a nice wood interior, and then you've got a pre-finished aluminum cladding to the exterior. Nice. Uh, so you can choose, oh, there's probably 30 or 40 colors from from different manufacturers that you can choose from, and they've all got a 20-year finish warranty on them, so. Really? There's no painting windows for the most part anymore. Oh, <laughs> there's a lot, a lot of people out there saying, <laughs> sign me up. Right. You know, can't tell you how many times the wife says, oh, those windows need repainting. <laughs> we were talking before we went live about argon gas. Mm -hmm. tell, tell, tell our, our viewers about that. So uh, the lower end companies will typically just use a dead air space in their window. And then as you, as you step up, they put argon gas in there. It's a denser gas and it cuts down on the convection of, uh, of heat transfer mm -hmm. inside the glass. So you're not transferring the outside temperature to the inside and vice versa. Okay, so that's you know, during the summertime, as hot as it gets down mm -hmm. here, that if you've got a window that that sun's beaming through, mm -hmm. you're not transferring that heat because right. a lot of times you can touch that window mm -hmm. and you can feel how hot it is. Right, and then and as far as the sun, that's where the low E comes in. That, mm -hmm. that low E is kind of like the inside of an old Stanley thermos bottle. Uh, that silver coating that you would have seen in there. Right. Ref it's a lighter coating, but that's reflecting that sunlight back out to keep the heat out. Mm -hmm. so. Now, uh, um, you know, we're, we're about out of time, but uh, mm -hmm. just uh, wanted to uh, again talk about the different windows that you have mm -hmm. and uh, the different choices that people have. Right. We have uh, kind of an entry level builder grade vinyl window to start with. And uh, we step up to a higher end vinyl window mm -hmm. that uh, we go to an awful lot for impact. Or if somebody wants the darker colors, uh, they do a great finish with the bronze and the blacks. Oh, okay. And then we go to the fiberglass window, which is a lot more rigid than the vinyl and an upper end product uh, and a lot more choices on color. And then our top tier is going to be that aluminum clad over wood window, which uh, sky's the limit on design. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do, they'll figure it out. Now, I guess um, if somebody, one of the, those do-it-yourself weekender type people, mm -hmm. um, they come into you, um, I, what should they bring? Do they bring the, uh, the measurements or what, do you go out there uh, to their home and uh, do an evaluation? We do a lot of both. Uh, we would prefer initially if the owner would bring in 
at least a rough size of what they're working with. Mm -hmm. If they have blueprints on their project, that's always helpful. Uh, if we can see elevations to make suggestions on what's going to be the best fit for their project. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then when it comes down to ordering, especially on a renovation, we, we do go out to the job site. All right. Russell, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate John. it. Very informative. Hey, if you're going to be doing some remodeling in your home or uh, you're starting from the ground up, you haven't quite decided upon, uh, you know, windows, which we talked about today, or even, as you said, doors, stairs, or the, um, what you need to do is call Russell or stop by and see all they have to offer at OS Lumber. It's on Government Street in Ocean Springs. We'll see you next week. If you have a question for any of our experts, go to WLOX.com and click on Expert Alert. For a list of any of our upcoming experts, go to WLOX.com and click on Expert Alert.